Oregon Inlet is probably the best place to catch cobia in the ocean in the world. It just is not a big window. You have probably about a two-week window in the spring when it is the best. And when it's the best, I'm not sure that there's anywhere else in the world that ever has a window of cobia fishing that is as good as what you can experience out in front of Oregon Inlet in the Outer Banks. I fished for two days this spring. This was at the end of May. We pretty much hit the nail on the head as far as timing the migration. It worked out. It was right around Memorial Day weekend, so there were lots of fishermen, but the weather was cooperative and a ton of fish were caught. Going right to left. Should we throw? I can get them. I can get them right now, Scott. Are we in? They're going. You go. Which way are they going? Right there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Terrible. Got him. Yeah, there's a bunch. Hurry. Scott's on too, Dad. Get on the bow, Dad. Tons are following. Just throw out there to Scott's fish, Dad. And start jigging, start jigging. Get him. Yeah, tripled up. I'm off. No, I'm not. I'm not. <sighs> that was awesome. I got to figure out how to get down. No, no, no. Put it in gear. Okay. Okay. I guess if that's what we're doing. Dad's got his fish right there. Why is this here? Here, Dad, I can net it if you want. You got it? In the boat. My fish is right here. I just am trying to get the net untangled. Extend the net and we can try to get them both. Mine's ready. Well, this fish is close to keeper. Wait, 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 wait. We're good. Mine's a keeper. Just leave it, leave it in the water. We'll get them both. You want me to do it? Yeah. Here's a dog. We'll still get him though. I think mine's keeper. He's very close. Yeah, he's I got the tank for him. Damn. That was so cool. That was. Right. Got him both. <laughs> These are both 40 inch fish, but in Virginia you can't gaff them, so we have a huge net. You gonna put him in here too? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Here, give me my phone off the dash. I don't think he's going to quite make it. I don't know. This is kind of a long, skinny one, this one. Holy crap, he ate yours, Scott. He swallowed it. You putting yours straight back or you want to at least look at it? Mine? Yeah, let's let's just look. I mean, they're both about the same size. And right, it's on it right there. Seven and a half. Okay, cool. Yeah. So mine's definitely keep, right? And I'm cool with keeping two small ones just yeah. like this. These are both keepers, Dad. Yep. All right, you go up there and fish with him. I'll I'll deal with all the fish. I can't believe you opened your bail though. This is a good one right here.
Keep an eye on Scott's fish because there was there were more. Dad gum. I got a pretty nice fish. I'm definitely gonna need help with a net. They're both nice. Oh. Came off. You want me to get it? All right. Pretty. If you bring him up here, just go back to fishing. Yeah, they are. <sighs> he didn't even go down. Look, he stayed on top. Look behind the boat. That's my fish. If you see any fish being turned loose that look like maybe they needed to be revived, this water was 60.5 degrees today, so these fish were okay. When that water starts getting up into the 70s, you gotta worry about it more, but this was the coldest water by far I've ever cobia fished in. Where at? Yep. He's on you. He's gonna get it again. Oh, got it. Oh, got it. He's on your, right here, right here, Scott. You get it. Jed, jig it, jig it, jig it, jig it, Dad. He's going to follow the other fish, I think. No, you're not. You want me to take the rod? <clears throat> the other one was nice. Yeah, what? I pulled it out of his mouth. I'll get him. Here we go. Group right here. See him coming right at the boat? Can I? If y'all don't throw, I'm going to, but y'all go. Better go. Got a big one. Oh, he came off. Got another one. I got the small one, though. Y'all ready? Here you go, Dad. Right here, right here under me. Right here under me, Dad. Or they might have gone to the other one. I don't know. Keep jigging. Keep jigging, Dad. Okay. There you go, Dad. There you go. There you go. Jig it. Jig it. Jig it. Start jigging. Start jigging. Oh, no. Go again. Go again. Still here. He's coming to my fish, Dad. Coming to mine. There you go. Wait. Uh. I can try to get mine quick and take your rod, Scott. <clears throat> I missed that one first. Did you see that? <sighs> he got his head back under. All right, I got this one. We good on Scott's? All right, I'm trying to unhook my fish. Okay. Let's 
see him take that bait. Yes. He wasn't even moving. He just sat there. No, nope, he went and just sat there. Drop it, drop it. We were still trying to get that other fish to bite. Didn't end up getting that to happen, but Scott's fight went on for a while. Usually when you get a big cobia, they like to dive and just sit there and do exactly what the fish is doing to him right now. You just can't pick them up and you got to wait for them to get tired. Bring the hammer to him. Come on. She is not there. Right, Could we have netted it right there? <laughs> Didn't get that close. It's surfacing us right now. Oh. <laughs> they don't quit. <laughs> It's, yeah, it's significantly bigger than the one I got yesterday. That was a cool bite. Oh, it was so cool. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> there he is. Oh, my God. Ready? He's not. <laughs> This is the fight of a cobia that I remember. Yep. Oh. All right, your turn, buddy. Come on, come on. Head up. Nope. Head up, not down. I'm not doing it till he's ready. Yep. Can we get the boating gear a little bit or no? Yeah. Plenty of pressure. Yeah. Woo! Oh. Oh. Here, help me. Help me, Scott. Yeah, that's a big one. That's it right there, 52 and a half. Okay. So that's a pretty nice one. 52 inches is not out of the ordinary, but it's definitely a nice cobia. Probably in the upper 40 pound range since it was pretty fat. You can see right here, we're going to release it and you gotta be pretty careful with cobia because even when they're tired, they can still have some strong head shakes. But since this water was so cold, check this out. We're not able to hold on to this fish, but look how she swims off. Bam, just gone and we had her out of the water for quite some time we thought we were going to have to revive that fish yep where no i don't you got to tell me where yep 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 you want me to go ah you go dad did you take it out of gear i'm gonna get the little one Got the little one. There's a big one right here, Scott. I think he's gone. The big one didn't want to bite. I put it right on him. Wow. No, he's just slapping the hell out of everything. No, yeah. I'm pretty good at being able to manhandle one if they're manhandleable. <laughs> Thank you. Let me know if you want me to do anything with the boat. It's a nicer one.
Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's tagged. You, Scott, you are the... <laughs> Scott Cox is the... That's number four. If you get him. Oh, yeah. Woo! Make sure he doesn't flip back out. He can flip back out where he's at right now. All right, I'm gonna put her in gear. I see another one. You want him, Dad? We got a good ways. He's going north. There's three fish. Stand up there, Dad, and, and start pointing your rod to the left. I'll tell you when you are at them. Keep going left, 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 right there. Do you see them yet? Three pack. Spooked them. You kind of landed right on their tails. It scared them. I think they went down. Oh, no, they're back up, Dad. You see them? We'll try from the other side. Look at me. They're kind of sinking down. Can you see them? Well, if I get closer, I'm worried we're going to spook them, but I can keep going. You got them there, Dad? They're pretty close. They're pretty close. Got one. It's a smaller fish. Watch for followers on me. They're going to be with mine, Dad. No, they're not. Hey, I'm on the boat. Somebody want to take my rod? Scott, can I get some assistance? It happened so fast, I forgot Scott was still unhooking his fish. He's, he's rubbing on the boat. All right, hold on. I'm going to... Oh, crap. Uh, Scott, there's a fish off the bow if you run up and get the other rod. Here, Dad, just give it back to me and catch that fish. All right, go catch that fish. Do you see him? Oh, yeah, he didn't like that. He's running from yours, but that was a good cast. All right, uh, yeah, my fish, uh, I just been trolling him. Here you go, Scott. Or I can, I may just be able to get him up and you can. <sighs> yeah, that's what I do. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep fishing with it. Mm, wind took me a little bit. He's on. Yeah, he is. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. He might get in the motor. Dad, dad, dad. Oh, he's around it. Wow. Wow. We're good. I had to back my drag way off though, because <laughs> I was worried he was going to go around it. All right. Oh, sorry. I'm trying to get out. Um, we should we should drive away from him while we climb down. That way we don't lose our spot up here either. You can put it in gear. He's not that big. I'm if I I'm not going down right now because this fish isn't isn't free from danger yet. I want him back there. Keep keep going. We can, I'll pull him right back in. Just get away from him. That way he's behind the boat and we got pressure on him and we can do whatever we got to do. 
little more. There we go. I'm gonna give you the rod and I'm gonna come down. All right. Yeah, we may need to use the net. I don't know. Thank you. It's a strong one. He might be nicer than I thought. Yeah, he's okay. Another tag. Okay, I got him, you can go fishing. I'll deal with him, I'm gonna take him up here. He's right here in front of us, Scott. Yep, coming, big one. See it, Scott? Right off the bow. Nice one. He's gonna come right to us. Dad, that's you, Scott missed. Whoa. Burn, 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 Dad. Gotta re-go. Scott's got him. Oh, yeah. Pretty. You can probably get that smaller one, too. You ready-ish? Got him. What? Yeah, I'm trying to not get stuck by him. Get it back in gear so we can stay in front of these guys. There was a pretty large fleet of boats to our south, and we were trying to just stay out ahead of everybody. And when you lose your spot in line is when you stop and deal with a fish. So we were doing our best to kind of keep moving as we dealt with these fish. I've had bad luck releasing them in warm water sometimes, but the water was no warmer than 62 and a half this day, and these fish, you saw that one swim off, they were fine. Yeah. There's more than one. They're back up, they're back up. Are they coming this way? I'm in neutral. Oh, I didn't know you were going to cast, Dad. No. He's on you. He quit. Here, let me try. I got a little, a little sneaky bait I want to try. Oh, that's oh, over. Right Sorry, Chuck. Sorry, I didn't know you were trying to throw, Dad. Oh. Oh yeah, big ones. Hang on, hang on. They're all ass too. Big fish. Let's get on the bow, Dad. You want to get on the right where it's easier for you to throw? Yep, I see him. Hey, there's, there's, oh, that's the pair. I don't know. There's fish right there too. All right, all right, all right. We're, we're on them. We're on them. What do you want to do, Dad? Let me know if I. Yep, yep, yep. Good, good. Oh, you got one. There you go. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Get ready. Get ready. Oh, you hit the tail. Oh, I got some old basket. Oh. There you go. Oh. <laughs> he missed it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, God, what the hell? That was a lot of activity. They would flare their gills, but they wouldn't get it. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, those fish schooled us pretty well. They were small, so it was just cool to see them get excited beside the boat like that. But we did have a lot of fish on this day short striking, and I think that's mostly because of the cold water. Usually in the ocean in the springtime, the fish bite really well. Obviously, you're not going to see this part, but we did miss a lot of fish this day. There are those boats. Yeah, they are right here. <laughs> oh, I should have thrown a different bait. 
<laughs> yeah, here, let me. Oh, 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 oh. Wow, that's a. I don't know. Yeah, he was. It's not a very big fish. Hey, buddy. Right off the bow, going uh, left. Stay straight, stay straight. He's gonna go sideways. You see him? Yep. You care if I throw on this one with this bait? Yeah, try. We can go a little closer. Decided to try a different bait since we were having so many short strikes. This is a stick bait. <laughs> that was pretty fun. Well, I mean, that present day, just after they missed this day right there where they want to eat it. And it's a lot of action. It's flat. Yeah, that was a really cool bite. Yeah. Probably the best bite of the day. Ready? Watch out. And I'm getting pliers. Unhooking a cobia from a treble hook is a pretty terrifying thought, but that is why I took the front hook off of that stick bait. That way they'd be a little more manageable and it also uh, is not going to injure the fish as much. That's why I took the front one off. <laughs> we had him. Here he is right here, coming at us. He's on you, he's on you. Yeah, he's on you. Oh, oh. he swatted. <laughs> Watch out, Dad. I don't know. He didn't look crazy big. I'll get him. Oh, I'm gonna get him off right here. He's about to come off. I think. He's spinning. How is he still hooked? Boy, it's barely in him. Look! Okay. That's a wrap on this one. We landed between 15 and 20 fish this day. Saw at least 100 fish, I would say. A lot of fish that didn't bite. A lot of times they'd be in groups, so you're obviously not going to be able to catch all of them. We had our two keepers right at legal size, which is where I prefer to keep them at. The bigger fish don't taste as good anyway, and it's better to let those ones go and get big and have lots of baby cobia so we can keep catching a bunch of them in the future.